afternoon, nevertheless. 60cc Mini, their final in just a few moments' time. As competitive as ever. Almost been the stars of the show at the Mini category. Don't forget, just overnight, the big news. The 2019 WSK calendar has been announced. The WSK Euro Series is back for 2019, March 31st. Circuito Internazionale Napoli, Zuera Zaragoza in Spain, Wackersdorf, May 26 in Germany, and we're back here June 23, 363 days after the WSK Open Cup a few months ago. We finished the Euro Series next year in about six, eight months. Gee, my maths is not good, is it? What is it now, October? That's about right. Eight months almost to the day we finish the WSK Euro Series. We start the season January 27 at Adria, where we held the WSK Final Cup for the first time in 2014. That's January 27, the Champions Cup at Adria. The Supermaster Series also at Adria. Lanato, La Conca World Circuit down in the south of Italy. Sarno, and then the Euro Series. Italy, Spain, Germany, Italy once again, the Open Cup. Lonato again, Castelletto di Branduzzo, where we go in three weeks' time for the second round. And then the final cup, I'm talking 2019 final cup. That's November 24 at Adria International Karting Raceway. We started with 259 drivers. There is the scene, the circuit built in 1988 by the Corveri family. To the left of your screen, Lago di Garda. Well, it was, but this is a better view. Much better view. <laughs> There's the green stand that towers over this circuit. You see the nationalities, 51 nations represented in WSK competition in 2018. And this weekend, 259 drivers. Down to the final 34 in each class as the beautiful Italian grid girls lead the circuit. Really has Formula One still continuing on with this incredible, well, let's just say questionable, po it's questionable policy of no grid girls. Can you believe that? Pole position for the 60C mini final. He's from the other side of the Atlantic Ocean, from the Caribbean, the Jamaican sensation, Alex Powell, alongside Brando Badoer. Josh Erfan, Julius Dennison, Ian Eichmanns from Belgium out of five, alongside the Swede, Joel Bergstrom. Andrei Petrovic, Nikola Tsolov, the Bulgarian Lion from Sofia in Eastern Europe out of eight. And then Carson Morgan from Anaheim, California, USA out of nine, alongside Andrea Filofero. We go down through the field. Remember, we've started with 30, 95 drivers. This is the final 34. These drivers have got into the field. That's an achievement in itself. Including out of grid number 31, Nicholas Ruz from Varemigen in South Africa. From the back of the grid, he finished in 16th in the pre-final from 34th. The only South African competing here this weekend. His countryman, Stuart White, wrapping up the Formula Ford 1600 series at Vakovs yesterday. Stuart who's done many of laps here at Lonato over the years. Congratulations, Stewie, Nicholas, your countryman in the 598 TM-powered Cosmic on the 16th row of the grid alongside Alexander Gubanko for Ward Racing. But on the front row of the grid, from the Caribbean, from Jamaica no less, it's Powell Brando. Also won his pre-final. This will be something else. It's just 10 laps, 12 kilometers for the 60cc mini class. The WSK final cut comes alive for these young drivers right here in Northern Italy. Badoea from Montebelluna in Northern Italy on grid two. And it's Paolo on pole who leads them up to the line. And we go green. Brando misses the start immediately. He's back to fourth. Eichmann slots into third. Josh Irfan, his teammate for Baby Race Paralyn. London in England is second. 
Brando immediately makes one back. Eichmann's drives down the inside, covers his line. The freight train is coming all the way, led by Alex Powell from the Caribbean nation of Jamaica. Still a little bit of temperature to go into these Vega tyres. You saw Alex throw the energy cart in sideways as he gets up to speed. Right behind him, Josh Irfan from London in England. Brando already back into P3. And from fourth back to 34th, there's nothing in it. So here's the race order after the first lap. How from Badoer and Irfan, sorry, Irfan in second, Badoer in third. We go back to Dinesen, Eichmanns, Morgan, Petrovic, Filipero, Joel Bergstrom and Nikola Tolov. The Bulgarian Lion from Sofia rounds out the 10. They come down the back straight, an incident off screen. As you look at Bergstrom and Filipero go wheel to wheel. We have already lost Enzo Tavanishko from Bangkok in Thailand. Also Francesco Amendola, Alexander Tibikin, the Italian and the Russian coming to grief. So we're down to 31. This is the order. Powell, Irfan, Rundle, they pull away. Eichmanns recovers to position number four. Irfan for Baby Race Paralin. The energy cart from Bergamo from just up the road. That's the manufacturer. Certainly not the same can be said for Alex. He's from the Caribbean nation. Don't you know it? The Jamaican sensation leads the second lap of 10. Irfan sits in second. Brando Badoer really come alive. He was on the podium at the WSK Open Cup four months ago to the day at this very circuit. He's in third. On the back of the Englishman from London, that's Josh. Team Baby Race, Paralin from Russia. Paralin from Bassano del Grappa, north of Venice. An energy cart from Bergamo between here and Milan. Eichmanns is in position number four. Powell still with the most minute advantage. Just two tenths of a second, two cart lengths, if that. Over the Englishman, Josh Irfan, then it's Brando. You go back to Eichmanns, then the rest of the field starting to spread out. Dinesen, Carson Morgan, the peak rider from Anaheim, California, USA, also in an energy cart, five. Dinesen, Soloff, Rashid Aldeheri from Abu Dhabi in the United Arab Emirates. There he is, coming on screen to Rashid. And the 510 Tony Cart goes down into the hairpin. He's a spot ahead of the Swedes, plural. Oscar Pedersen and Joel Bergstrom, the Serbian. Andrei Petrovic, and from the back of the grid, the Russian, Ariel Elkin, already up to position number 12 with the storming drive. This is the end of lap number four. And it is still Powell who hasn't put a Vega tire out of place here this afternoon. Irfan in second, Brando just shadowing first and second place. There's Eichmann's going through with the yellow helmet. The boy who grew up, who grows up because he's still only 10 years old, in the shadows of the Zola Grand Prix circuit in Belgium, where the NASCAR Euro Series takes place today, but he's here at Lenato. Running in P4, a spot off the podium, but as they start to fight in front, Eichmann's may well draw himself into this battle. Dinesen is also right there. He had a great run in the pre-final, 5-4-1 Paralin. Fighting there with Carson Morgan. Just a few spots back, so this is, by many standards, a relatively tame race, but we're coming up to half race distance now. It will surely come alive in a few moments' time. Powell will not have it all his own way. Over the remaining six kilometers, or five laps, this 1.2K circuit. Alex Tol uh, Soloff loses time, or Nikola Soloff, I should say, loses time. For forced out wide. Chepel, the Czech driver, fighting there with Elkin. Dali Tedeco, Keanu Alizari, the second driver from the Emirates. And there is Eichmann's head down behind the steering wheel of the 518 cart. Dinesen goes through. Morgan, Nikola Soloff, recovers still ahead of Rashid. There is Jonathan Weber, the dynamite from Denmark, in position 18 ahead of Kirill Kutzkoff. And the son of a top gun, that's Maximilian Popov from Russia. Yes, I mean that literally, his father is a jet fighter pilot. 
as Brando goes down the inside to take position two. He puts the Englishman back to third. The Paralin in second. Indeed, it is a Paralin in third, run by the Baby Race team. The energy cart leads, there's Eichmanns, and here comes the freight train screaming down the straight at 98, 99 kilometers an hour. Dinnison, Zoloff, Morgan, Alderheri, Bergstrom, Petrovic, Villafero, Pedersen, Elkin, Chebil, Dowie to Decker. Last year's Belgium Minimax champion rounds out the top 15. The gap between the race leader is now seven tenths of a second, and Brando on screen, he's unstoppable. There's something in the water over in the Caribbean, obviously, because the Jamaican is pulling away. There's Brando in second. The response from Irfan, will it come? Eichmann's not far off this battle either. There's the Belgian behind the Englishman. There's the Italian. As Josh thought about making a move, Powell goes through. There's Eichmann's, the fluorescent yellow helmet for speedwear.be. Nikola Zoloff, the Bulgarian Lion. Julius Dennison, Joel Bergstrom for the Formula K team of Yuri Serafini. The junior team, that is, Joel in P7. Rashid Alderheri from the Emirates, Carson Morgan from Anaheim, California. P9 and Andre Petrovic also for Yuri's Formula K junior team rounds out the top 10. Here goes Brando, slides in sideways. Powell, the gap eight tenths of a second. He's not exactly pulling away as he did in the heats. He's still got a very healthy lead. There is only two laps to go. Eichmann's closes in on the back of his baby race teammate, Josh Irfan. Brando desperately tries to put a cart length, breathing space between himself and the English driver, and indeed, for that matter, the Belgian behind him. Two laps, 2.4 kilometers now to go. Irfan shadows him, touches 100 k's an hour as he gets the slight benefit of the slipstream in these 60cc mini carts. Over the ripple strip, Eichmann's tries to get up onto the podium. Nikola Zola from Sofia, Bulgaria. P5, Dennison still too far back. The gap is still exactly eight tenths. Only a lap and a half to go though. Brando Bado out. It'll be his second podium, but it won't be the top step if he holds on for another lap and a half. The challenge will come from Irfan, be assured. Of course, Luca's father, uh, Brando's father, Luca, international FIA Formula 3000 champion in that incredible Reynard 92D back in 1992. And Brando carries the same sponsorship that Luca took to the title from Replay Jeans more than a quarter of a century ago. This is the last lap though. Joel Bergstrom in seventh, it's the fastest lap of the race. Brando drives down the inside. Joel is back in seventh. This is it. Surely they can't catch the boy from the Caribbean. Brando, no gals, now goes defensive. Eichmann's desperate to pull in. That half a second between himself and his teammate. Brando looks behind him. Goes into the old turn five chicane. Irfan will surely put it up the inside. Brando drives tight. Irfan, here comes Eichmann's. It is still Brando for the second place. But the final corner, the checkered flag will come out for you know who, the Jamaican sensation. Oh, what a drive from Alex Bell. Badawer is second, Irfan third, and Eichmanns misses the podium by, listen to this, 0 0.067 of a second. Nikola Zoloff comes home P5. Dinnison, Bergstrom, Rashid, Carson, and Andrea Filofero rounds out the top 10, but it will be again the Jamaican flag on the podium, along with that of Italy and Great Britain. Unstoppable, just brilliant. He wins the 60cc mini final. Also give credit to the team energy, energy course of Bergamo, team owner Mick Panigata, team manager Simone Sorio, and also the legendary six-time world champion, Mike Wilson, who is here coaching Alex to the victory here this weekend. The legend himself, Mike Wilson, at the circuit, and he will celebrate the victory as well. Let's say it again.
the winner of the 60cc mini final. What's his name? No, it's not Alex Powell. He forever will be known as the Jamaican sensation. He wins the mini final. Brundle Butterware, another podium here at Lanato in WSK. And Josh Irfan from London in England rounds out the podium. The winning margin in the end was 1.6 seconds. Between Powell and Butterware, of course, that was because Josh and Brando went wheel to wheel over the final few corners. But regardless, they weren't exactly going to catch young Alex. The podium for 60cc Mini and the national anthem of Jamaica will ring out here at Lonato in a few moments. The podium presentation for 60cc Mini in just a moment. Here in the sunshine, in the northern Italian autumn, at South Garda Karting. 60cc minis, they always entertain. We started with 95, we're down to the final three, and they make their way up to the podium here in just a few moments' time. Don't forget Castelletto di Branduzzo, three weeks' time in the season closer at Adria Karting Raceway on November 25. The drivers are here and we're just about ready to go with the podium presentations for 60cc Mini. Another brilliant race. The podium for 60cc Mini in third place for Team Baby Race Parallel from England, Josh Irfan. Second place for Team Parolin from Italy, Brando Padoea. The winner of the 60cc mini final, you know his new nickname. He will forever be known as the winner. He is the Jamaican sensation, Alex Powell. The third place trophy to Josh Irfan of England. Second place, Brando Badoea of Italy. From Jamaica for Team Energy, the winner is Alex Powell. as we stand by for the national anthem of Jamaica.
the podium for the 60cc mini final. Third place, Josh Irfan from England. Second place, Brando Badoea from Italy. The winner, you know it, it is the Jamaican sensation, Alex Powell. The KZ2 final here at Lanato in just a moment. Podium for 60cc Mini, how good was that? As we prepare for the road racing rocket ships, this is KZ2. Still a few moments before the start. Lemmers will start on pole position. He's back, boom, boom, bass. Lemmers, it's his third team, it's been a messy 2018. But he's back and he starts on pole after winning the pre-final. We should also mention the Saudi car team. His teammate Anthony Abbas, not only did he win the race of Stars Down Under in Australia a week ago, he also won the Le Mans 24-hour race. Along with Bass, Tom Joyner and Alexia Rolando. Sensational win by the French team on French soil. Can the French ups upset the Italians this afternoon? Certainly Bass is the driver to beat. This is a lap on board of the South Garda Lonarting Circuit. South Garda Lonato Karting Circuit. Diego Contecha, Baby Race Team Paralin, on board this 1.2K circuit. Colombia, that was Diego Contecha.